Okay, everybody, this is John Griffin. I'm going to show you one thing that I found out with the Drupal 8 Web Forms module. One thing I wanted to do was have some separate forms that actually go to different lists under my main list. In this case, I give away some free royalty, royalty free music, and I didn't want that in my general list. I wanted them to be on a, on a separate list. So in order to get the packet, they have to basically put in their first name and their email. And then they get sent to my list with an email back, giving them a page to, to download all that. I'm not going to show you how to install web forms or the basics of it or anything else. There's plenty of tutorials, including what's included with this plugin, which is a great plugin. Uh, beats anything I've seen in WordPress, especially for the price, which is free. So basically, what I want to do is show you in build. You can see I've got a text field, the email. I put a capture in, of course. And list is a hidden field, but it's going to have the actual list uh, that's, that's in my Sendy, because this is all related to Sendy, which I should have mentioned at the beginning, but I forgot. Anyway, so Sendy.co is who I use because I own my data and it's a lot cheaper than anywhere else. Forgot to put required so I can fix that. So we're going to save that. And so basically that sets your form. You can take a view, which you can see here, shows that now it's got the email as required. But the important thing is when, when hooking it up to Sendy is you want to have email handlers. So basically right now when this form gets uh, submitted, it goes to this completed URL, and I also send some the the actual list, which you'll see here. So you'll see what I did. I send the email and I send the actual list as parameters to this URL slash subscribe which happens to be my Sendy installation. Of course, it'll add the question mark and all the URL variables. That's really all you have to do. It's quite simple. And if you don't know how to get your Sendy, uh, the email list out of Sendy, you basically, you basically go to your subscriber list. And I have only one list so far, and I just started it, so there's no people. But royalty-free, and if you go right here, this ID which you can just copy. So that's the actual ID that you'll put in when you build. And you'll see when I have a hidden field that the default value is there. Nobody's going to see it to change it. And really this isn't any high security thing, so whatever standard will work. So that's all you need to do. Of course I've blocked out some numbers because there are scammers and spammers about. But hopefully that'll help you out. And when you're done, you can always test it. And the nice thing is it'll put up some, you know, a random name and a random email. Unfortunately, Sendy will block it as spam, so you've got to add some name in there and then hit submit and you can go to your Sendy installation and show it. So basically, if you go to edit remote post handler to advanced, you can set up the debug mode. And I use that. I don't need it now just to see what I was sending. So you can actually see if I do a test which, as I said, with the fake email address, it won't probably take it on Sendy because of the spam filtering built into it. But we'll hit it just so you can get an idea. And if you just click on this, you see where, what the, uh, the form parameters are, where it was sent. It actually gives you uh, the response data, which says you're subscribed. So in that case, it did take it. So the tokens can be used if you want. There's a lot more to this, but that's all you really need. It's a, a simple thing. And I hope that helps everybody out. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment.